Hey guys, Addy here. I'm coming to you today because I got my dirty little mitts on something I'm rather excited about. What we have here is a super tiny little full working race flight board. I also got my hands on a little spark. Now this is a 4-in-1 BL Heli S uh, 60 amp ESC, so each one is 15 amps, and it's tiny, it's 20 by 20 mounting, it is rather heavy, um, but race flight stuff normally is, um, they, they pin together really easily, it's a good package, it runs 32k, it runs race flight 1, so it has the super easy setup, um, and it's just freaking cool, and so cute. Um, why am I talking to you about all this? Well, I had been wanting a little micro quad that had prop guards that could actually acro i tried the tiny whoop thing i remember doing b brains i set up a bunch for a bunch of friends we get them to fly right but basically like you do an acro maneuver and on one s there wasn't much you could ever do to recover like i like doing a pop little roll land flat like no dipping no raising so i wanted a 3s thing with prop guards um, I got excited about the torrent and I, I managed to get my hands on one. I had a lot of fun with it. Like any Horizon Hobby ready to fly product I have ever bought, maybe with the exception of my Tiny Whoop, uh, it needed a lot of work out of the box. I remember when I used to buy the little UMX airplanes, if you didn't like rebuild them before you flew them, they would basically come apart in the air. And that went for like all of them, from the little 2S to the little 3S. And I loved them, but you just kind of had to know what you were doing. This was a similar situation. Um, everybody's having problems with accelerometer drift. I don't fly self-level. I haven't touched self-leveling mode in like a year and a couple months. So pretty much right away, I had raised my loop times and turned off my accelerometer and blah, blah, blah. But full throttle vibes were just ridiculous. And I'm still running stock props. I'm waiting on some gen fans, but I had a bunch of sets of stock props. I change them all the time. I know some people, um, you know, balance them, but I'm not going to take the time to balance something that bends every time I touch the ground. It's just silly. Um, normally with filtering and stuff like that or soft mounts, you can fix it. I did soft mount the flight controller. I also soft mounted the motors. Funny thing, it comes with them, like it knows you need them. And that made it a lot more flyable, but still, if like if I turn on my recorder and I do a full throttle punch out, the results are disgusting to me as somebody who's really picky about tunes. So I'm thinking about putting the race flight board on this. Again, I want to keep my prop guards. That's like why I bought this thing. And that's either going to be a challenge or a little bit easier with the race flight board. Race flight boards are quick. They also need dampening. They also need to not be touched by wires, and there's a lot of stuff packed into a small thing on this. Um, so basically, if you haven't figured out the intent, I'm either going to build a little custom drone out of these parts, but I want to keep my prop guards. I have a cool 2-inch stretch hyperlight that I should be picking up tomorrow. Um, the little frame, a bare frame, that's kind of still in in pre-production and and I have these parts in my hands and a fully working fully stock torrent so I'm either gonna put this stuff on and try to make like a stock looking race flight torrent um, and try to make it fly right with the prop guards and with the stock props because I'm crazy um, or I'm gonna build a little custom guy I kind of want y'all's opinion would you rather see a race flight torrent a mini race flight torrent or would you rather see a little two inch hyperlight stretch x race flight build uh everything's 3s everything's full acro everything's got to kind of be like balls out like i want to dive the trees i want to do rip rolls and flips like an inch off the ground and and i want to be able to go through my house with my cats and my dogs and not kill anybody so the prop guards are are high on my importance list and i know i'm rare in that but I'm sure I'm not the only person. Some of y'all got kids at home. I don't know why. You know, a lot of us have pets. Um, and I'm flying down, you know, around my house. There's tiny little walkways with leaves everywhere. And if you just touch them and you don't have prop guards, you're going to fall out of the sky. Uh, the prop guards let me shove this little thing in places I otherwise couldn't. But don't. Uh, let me know what y'all think. Thanks.